So, welcome to the last social exclusive video diary from uh, 2021. Fucking rubbish year. Stick it, stick it in the fucking toilet. I wasn't very good at it. I wasn't very good either. The year wasn't very good. Pretty fucking rubbish. Even worse towards the end. But you know what? We got through. We got through it. And um, but I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to leave 2021 on a positive note. You know, I'm trying to be a, trying to be a more positive, upbeat guy. Yeah. So I've decided I'm gonna. The f last episode of my uh, video diary, the social exclusion sagas, yeah, for, for, for 2021, it's going to be a list of my top favourite highlights of 2021. I've got them down here, I can't remember more. Yeah, so like, my highlights of 2021 are, number one, seven hour DJ set at Camp Disco. Even though you were only, supposed to, you were only trying to give me one in a rubbish time, I, I ended up playing for seven hours. And I got to complain, complain about complain to Simon McLean all weekend, cause I was, and I'll be like, Oh, I'm just going to complain to management. That's Simon McLean. I'll go and tell him now. Great weekend. Talk about Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Number two, second highlight, was uh, during 2021 was the year when I got £1 bus fares with my card. That, that's, that's why I applied. £1 bus fares. Fucking bargain. Number three, the top, this, is the, this is the third best thing to have happened in 2021. Some friends of mine at a house party uh, for Halloween, yeah. And it's like some of the most like smug, superior, um, uh, like better than now kind of like elitist uh, um, uh, people, yeah. It's like, that like you could ever imagine, yeah. They're like better than everyone else. They know more than everyone else. And you know what? Their house party, yeah. Well, the people's house party actually, they're, they're quite cool. But the other people there, they, they are the like the, the you know, the um, morally superior kind of people, you know. Exactly the kind of people you need a lesson in humility. And they got it because their house, the house party ended up being a COVID, massive COVID super spread event. Which was like, I mean, that's, that's it's one, it's one of the highlights of my year. It's so good. It couldn't, couldn't have happened to a better bunch of people. As they say in that song, do they know it's Christmas? Just, what's the line? Just be glad it's them instead of you. I'm like, yes, thank God it's them instead of you. Thank God it's them instead of me. I mean, imagine if, it, imagine if I had a house party that ended up being COVID super spread event. Fucking hell, I'd be, I'll, I'll, I'll get heckled in the street. They, they totally get away with it, because of course they brush under the carpet. But I remember, and it was a, you know, third best thing to have happened to me this year. Uh, number four, I've got a new radio program. Uh, in our time, very good, worth listening. Okay. Number five, the uh, Miserable Singles Christmas Party, Christmas party Top Notch. Yeah, I finally got to play that Celine Dion remix, which I've been, which I've been playing at home a lot recently, but then um, finally got to play it in a proper DJ set, which was really good. Although, I did kind of balls it up, because um, afterwards, I, I lost my DJ integrity. Yeah, it's like, that night, because I, thing is, right, Afterwards, right, so I packed up all the stuff, yeah, for having, a, having a couple of, uh, hanging out with the people, with the uh, Midwest Singles people, yeah, just afterwards at the, uh, the ball field, yeah, just having a couple of drinks, and I was, I was chanting this girl, right, it's like, because the thing is, a few, during, during the set, quite a few people gave, uh, asked for requests, yeah, and I'm like, and of course I did the right thing, I did, I did what a DJ's supposed to do, I turned them down, I said, no, sorry, I don't play requests, you know, proper DJ. Quite a few people gave requests, some people put, put, you know, put a lot of thought into their requests as well, so, felt, you know, I felt a bit bad to, you know, you know, forget them, but, well, I didn't feel that bad, it's all right, but, you know, anyway, so, um, and anyway, so I was catching this girl, and she was like, oh, yeah, I thought you were, uh, yeah, I thought you were proper DJ, because you don't play requests, I was like, don't worry, you're so beautiful, I'll play any requests you want, and it's like, there's my integrity down the toilet, it's like, I was like, I, I mean, but I, just, just don't tell Simon McLean or Kathy or anyone else in the, in the DJ scene, they found out that I've basically confessed to, uh, I've confessed to, that to to the intent that I would play a request if that person asked, requested a song. It's just like I'm just weak. I'm just weak. I'm pathetic. I've got no integrity left. I'm, 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 I'm a, just don't tell Radio Six Music. I've barely got a DJ license as it is. I'm, 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 I'm going to be out of there with that. And then, but the overall number one highlight 2021 best thing about 2021. No restaurants in 2021. Didn't go to a single restaurant. That's why I'm COVID free because I'm. Um, that's why they spread it, you know, because like, if you sat around in like a group of six or eight people, sat immediately opposite each other, within a few minutes, for two hours, face to face, not going anywhere, it's like, it's fucking transmission central. The fucking viral load is like, both loading up for like two fucking hours. Yeah, it's like, that's where it's being spread, it's being spread by restaurant wankers, and I didn't go to a single one during 2021, and that's why I never got COVID during 2021. And um, 
while uh, loads of other people what I know that are restaurant workers, they definitely did get COVID. So um, and I picked up let's put two and two together, and uh, and so and it's like restaurants which have do bar service, they're okay. So the eighteen ten where used to work, I've looked back there during the summer. Yeah, they're okay. Want to do table service? Pfft, no way, no way. It's like. Like for for all the time, you're, the, everyone sat down there for so long. They keep sitting ducks for the virus, aren't they? So I'm making a, my new my new New Year's resolution for 2022. I got two. Num- number one, be more like Paul Robinson because I want to be successful this year. Number two, no restaurants in 2022. In fact, I'm gonna go further. I'm gonna make a pandemic plague. No restaurants until the end of the plan- pandemic, and maybe beyond. Who knows? Unless China Red do, uh, do, unless someone's up for doing karaoke, China Red, then I'll go to the restaurant, just go, get to do karaoke upstairs afterwards. But aside from that, no restaurants until the end of the pandemic. Until all, uh, infective, you know, uh, infectious viruses have been, uh, eliminated, you know, then, until then I'm just not gonna go to any restaurants, so, you know, uh, I'm, cause I'm fucking dedicated, yeah? You know, I've gotta, gotta fight Covid. I'd like to, I'd like to welcome anyone else to join me with that pandemic plague. No restaurants till the end of the pandemic. Thank you very much, guys. Hopefully 2022 will be pretty good. Can't be any worse, surely. 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 See you next year.